One of my big learns inside prison is it wasn't the space I lived in. It wasn't the bars or the fences or the chains going away that was gonna make the difference. It was what I was doing with myself right in that moment. And that freedom is that state of mind and you can have it anywhere. You have very little responsibility in prison. And when they first put the bulletin up on the bulletin board that there's this chance to work with dogs, and this all of a sudden gave us a different normal responsibility in our life. It's a dog being prepared for a job. And we had a responsibility to have the dog learn the hundred commands that we had to do. And so I had a real sense of accountability to that and meeting what UDS needed the dog to be. So I started with Carson, and Carson was absolute loving dog. He was just natural from the beginning. Once he learned something, learned it and stuck with it. Just having something that you could touch, all of a sudden there's emotion, feeling, and companionship. Carson did so well. Moved to the next phase, I came home, and it wasn't until two years after I'd been home, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna reach out to UDS and say hi. And that's when I found out that Carson is acting as a therapy dog for students. Hi. Hey, Jamie, how are you? So you are one of the ones that trained Carson. I am. I was one of the ones that received him when he was just eight weeks old. I have to tell you, what you did is awesome because he's serving us well here. Oh, fantastic. You can't come to our middle school and not know who Carson is. He is very sensitive to kids, and that's what we need in our middle school. That's what we see him do very, very well, is work with the kids and be that affectionate piece. If we bring him into a classroom and he knows that he's supposed to work with the child or something, he's very engaged. He walks right over to them. He'll do anything that they ask. If it's a kid that might be displaying anxiety or anything like that, he will naturally go over. You can just see them calm. And it's things that we can't necessarily sense as adults. It's not a secret. Everybody knows that Carson started in prison. And we talk about how does this you know, lead to a different type of life coming out of prison. So every part of his story, it gives us an opportunity. The richness of life now isn't measured in dollars and cents. It's measured in the service that we give. I'm able to appreciate the abundance that I have in my life and the people that are in my life and share that with others and help others do the same. The dog program changed not only me, it changed everyone in the program. We all learned to make it about the dogs instead of about us. Make it about something that's bigger. Not only did we benefit as the inmate, the people that got Carson are having their lives changed. And that is the most powerful component.